I mean, it just seemed like maybe it was Elizabeth. I'm not sure. I don't first. 2021. Today is August. Today is October 1st, 2021. On a Friday morning, it's 8.07 a.m. I had a dream. This dream, it looked like I was in a store. Like a, maybe like a Home Depot type of store. And, uh, I don't know what I was buying something, but I was in this store. It seemed like I was with somebody else, but I was with some kids. I don't know. I mean, it just seemed like maybe it was Elizabeth. I'm not sure. I don't think it was um, Junior and Damani. But it just seemed like I was inside a Home Depot. But here's the thing. It was a snake in there. A big snake. It was like, I guess it was Cobra. And it seemed like when I looked at the snake, the snake had a hole to a child. I don't know whether it was, it wasn't Elizabeth, but I don't know why it just seemed like it was Elizabeth. But in the dream, I didn't know the child. But it seemed like the person had control over the snake from something that they had in their hand. Like maybe the tail of the snake, but it was like something like, auto like like remotely and all they had to do was like press it but the thing is you couldn't let the snake get on you right the snake couldn't get on you and once they get on you it devour you up so it got onto this child and it was sucking the child and it was halfway like body wise on the child and I kept yelling at the person come on press it turn it something and they kept turning it kept turning and you could see the snake was pulling off of the child I said keep turning it's going it's going and it was pulling off and finally it let the child go and the child got out of the the barn of the snake but the snake was not giving up and I was standing there like where the child was and the snake looked like it turned into a little little dinosaur like like a little animal it was jumping all around. Something I ain't never seen before. I never saw the animal before. I don't even know what kind of animal. So it wasn't a baby snake because it, it wasn't slithering on the floor. It wasn't like like sliding on the floor. It was jumping around like, let me see who I can jump into next. And it would come over by me and it would move. And it would try to get close to me, but it would. I was kind of scared, but not really scared. Like, scared, scared, like, oh, my God, let me go high. I stayed in the presence of it. And it kept coming around me. It would pop around me, and it would come close to me, but it would go away. And then it would go and jump on somebody else. And I was like, move them, move them. And then that person would move. But what, uh, I think the, they always... They always say, we, we, we pay attention to what it is that... Um, that seems to stand out. So the thing that seems to stand out in the dream is that it wasn't a snake until it got on you. When it got on you, then it turned into a snake and it sucked you up. So when we got the snake, when we pulled whatever it was that the person had, had and it was a big snake. This snake was big and big. And you could see his face, how he had done suck the child in, right? And, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. A pun um, sucking the child in. I saw it, and I told the person, the person, it was, I don't even know who the person was, or the yeah. But the person had control over the snake with something that they had in their hand. And I was telling them, 
pull it, pull it, or turn it, whatever it was. And they was doing, and as they was doing it, you could see the snake being pulled off of the child, pulled off of the child. And I said, keep going, keep going. And then you could see him pulling like he was mad. You could see it in his eyes, but what she was doing caused the snake to come off. It was pulling, pulling, pulling. But in his eyes, you could tell he didn't want he didn't want to let go, but he had no choice but to let go. And when he let go, he finally, and I was like, good. So I got the child. I don't know who the child was, because even if it was a child. And when the child was let go, a snake turned into a little jumping animal, jumping all around, seeing who he can jump into. But it was only me and another person that was there, whoever that person was. I kept going around trying to jump and it would come by me and I was like oh but I stood my ground even though I was a little scared I stood my ground I didn't budge and he would come and jump over by me like he going one time he looked like he was going to jump on him and I went ah and he jumped away he went away and he went looking trying to see who can get it who else he can get on but he couldn't get on nobody and then I woke up I was like, I don't know what that is. But normally, when you know, a snake is not good. That's the enemy. That's the enemy. And he coming in disguise. So I don't know what it is that he... I'm thinking, this is my interpretation of it. I'm thinking that that's COVID. And maybe it's trying to devour the kids in school. And... But this, I saw Dean. Well, it wasn't really Dean, y'all. But I don't know. I don't know why the concept of it was somebody I knew. Because in the dream, it wasn't nobody I knew. The person that I saw holding the remote was nobody I knew. The person that the snake was on was nobody I knew. But I was just in the midst of the situation. And I was helping out. I wasn't touching a snake or nothing. I just was like telling them what to do. And it was like I said, the snake was on the child, pulling the child. But I don't know who the child was. I don't know who the child was. But the snake let go what whoever had whatever it is that that person had, it controlled that snake. <laughs> So that's why I said I think it's COVID, that they got control over COVID. They the one that's doing the COVID. If it's a COVID, it's a snake, so it's the enemy. So I don't know whether that's God telling me also that the vaccine is not good. Don't don't get a hold to it. I don't know, but whatever it is, it's the enemy. And it's trying to, I don't know why it's showing the kids, but... It's in reference to the kids, but it could be the world. It could be. But one thing I know that God has shown me, it's not going to touch me. Even though I may be a little scared about it, I may think twice and be like, oh, my God. But in the dream, that snake or whatever it was, because it was just like some foreign animal jumping around. But when it got on you, it was it was a snake. It turned into a snake. So it, it, it's like it's saying in the dream that it's a disguise. It looked like this. It looked like a little animal. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. But when it get on you, it's turning big. So maybe that's COVID. It looked like nothing. Oh, everything's okay. Everything's fine. But when it get in you, it's going to turn into something humongous. And the people that put it on you is the one that's in control over you and they the one that's going to be able to take it off they act like they can't do it but they can wow that's deep that's deep right there that's a deep one i need some coffee behind this one lord i tell you lord I want you to bring me ever closer to you. I want you to help me to lead your people. I want you to help me to talk to your people, to teach your people, to preach to your people. I want you to help me to get souls saved. I want you to help me to pre prepare people for this era that's about to come. It's just a warning, God. You want people to be, like, prepared for it. 
you it's just like the children of Israel. They didn't want to listen, but God had somebody there to tell them when God Moses to help them get out. When God Joshua, you see what I'm saying? Aaron got these people to help. God got people to help you. And we got to listen. You got to listen to what the people is telling you. Don't be thinking that it's because, oh, they don't know what they talking about. Don't listen to them. You see what I'm saying? Because God is able to use who they want to wanna use. Don't get caught up. Don't get caught up. I got to tell the people, do not get caught up with the enemy. Because they put he puts disguises on. He let people think that he's all right. Oh, I'm on your side. Oh, I'm going to take care of you. Don't worry about it because God is not going to allow things to happen to his people. Yeah, we're going to suffer. Yeah, we're going to go through things. But when it comes down to what the world put on us, God is not going to let it touch us. Young God, we got to have faith. And they may, they may, they may, how can I say, they may read it ridicule us they may talk about us they may talk about the christian faith they may come to our church and get up in the church and, and say things against us and say all oh, manner of things against us but god want us to stand long as we stand for him he is going to protect us that's what's in that dream the enemy was jumping jumping all around me jumping all around me had me a little scared came up came and even like did like a Phew. Like, I'm, I'm going to get you. And I went, oh, like that. But I, I didn't move. That was the thing. I stayed in the spot that I was. And he was running all around me, running all around me. And the person that had the little thing that controlled the snake, they, they was like maybe about six or seven feet away from me. Right? But I stood my ground. Hey, Even girl. when the snake was on the person, I, on, I was yeah, right in that see. same spot. I was like, pull it, pull it, pull it off, it's coming, pull it. Don't let him take it. Don't let him take a hold of him. Don't let him win. Well, I didn't say win. Don't let him take it. Keep pulling. Come on, keep pulling. Keep pulling. Whatever it was that the person. And they kept going. Nick. And that they, it was like they had the tail of the snake. I want to make sure I'm taping. Yes. It was like they had the tail of the snake. And they was pulling that snake and pulling it and pulling it. But um, but it was trying to hold on, and you know what? What what really stood out was the face of the snake. It was like the snake had expressions on it, had an expression, and expression was mad and evil, like man, I can't get a hold of this person. I cannot take this person. Now maybe it was Danielle and maybe it was Elizabeth and maybe that was a sign to let God, you know, God let me know. Ain't gonna touch them. Don't worry about it. And just like Johnny has said, we say it won't, it won't come nigh our dwelling. No. Yeah, the dwelling is our body. You could put it in that concept, but I really think that the dwelling God is talking about is your house that you live in. Hold up. I'm about to look that up right now. I'm about to look that up right now because I, I tell us, Fred, not ourselves because we need to do it. thinking about 91, but I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Let me see. Let me find. 
find my Bible. Mm, I didn't download. Oh, yes, I did. Okay. So it's Psalms 91. Let's go. Let me see. Psalms. I'm going to read it in the message first and see what it say. Psalms 91 says, okay. Okay, it says, you who sit down in the high God's presence, spend the night in, sh in Shaddai's shadow. Say this, God, you're my refuge. I trust in you and I'm safe. That's right. He rescues you from hidden traps, shields you from deadly hazards. His huge outstretched hands protect you. Under them, you're per perfectly safe. His arms fend off all harm. Fear nothing, not wild wolves in the night, not flying arrows in the day, not disease that prowls through the darkness, not disaster that erupts at high noon. Even though others succumb all around, see, even though they die all around, drop like flies right, at, right and left, no harm will even graze you. You'll stand untouched. Watch it all from a distance. That's how it wasn't. That's how it wasn't a dream. Watch the wicked turn into crops. Look at this. Yes, because God's your refuge. The high God's your very own home. Evil can't even get close to you. That's that's ninety one and ten. Yes. Evil can't get close to you. Harm can't even, can't get through the door. See, that's what I'm saying. They talking about the dwelling of where you live. They ain't talking about your inner body. He ordered his angels to guard you wherever you go. If you stumble, they'll catch you. Their job is to keep you from falling. You'll walk unharmed around among lions and snakes and kick young lions and serpents from the path. If y'all hold on to me for dear life, says God, I'll get you out of any trouble. I'll give you the best of care if y'all only get to know and trust me. Call me and I'll answer. Be at your side in bad times. I'll rescue you, then throw you a party. What? That's in the Bible. I'll give you a long life, give you a long drink of salvation. Okay, so now let's go. Come on, let's go. We're going to go into the Bible itself. Let's see if we can find. I think this is... um. Okay, so now we're going to... Wait a minute. Now we're going to go into the actual Bible. That, that's the message. I read it in the message Bible. Okay, so now we're going to go into we're going to go into the actual King James Version. And we're going to read it. We're going to read the King James Version. Psalms 91 and 10. Okay. Let me see. Let's go here. Okay, so 91. The theme of the of Psalms 91 is Okay, the theme of it is God's protection in the midst of danger. God doesn't promise a world free from danger, but he does promise his help whenever we face danger. <coughs> and this is the scripture. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. 
he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth mm -hmm. shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall out thus at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. This is what this is, right? This is a plague. This is what the word is saying. Why people don't believe it. For he shall give his angel charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thy trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. Mm -hmm. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. So what, what, what are we waiting for? What are we worried about? Let me go back into the message. And I want to go to that verse. They shall no evil before thee neither. They shall bear thee up in our hands as I dash it for 12. I want to go to 12. I want to see what it says in 12. Let's go to the message. Let me see the message. The message. Here we go. 12 verse. Okay, he say he ordered his angels to guard you wherever you go. If you stumble, they'll catch you. Their job is to keep you from falling. You'll walk unharmed among lions and snakes. Didn't I just see the dream about snakes? Lions and snakes. And kick young lions and serpents from the path. If you hold on to me for dear life, says God, I'll get you out of any trouble. If you, if I'll give you the best of care, if you'll only get to know and trust me. That's the song. That, um, that, um, I go, I go. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days have been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. And all my life, you have been faithful. Thank you, Lord. And all my life, you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing. Of the goodness of God. Oh, my life, you have been faithful. And all my life, you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am in. My voice is kind of like off. I will sing of the goodness of God.
I will sing of the goodness of God. So, so, we don't have to worry. If you hold on to me for dear life, says God, I'll give you out, I'll get you out of any trouble. I'll give you the best of care if you only get to know and trust me. Call me and I'll answer. Be at your side in bad times. I'll rescue you, then throw you a party. That's 15. I'll give you a long life, give you a long drink of salvation. Okay, I'll give, I'll, I'll rescue you, then throw you a party. That's 15. Now we need to go to King James Version. To him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. So the honor is I'll give him a party. Wow. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's real beautiful. That's real. That's beautiful. That's real beautiful. Wow. So that was a dream. That was a dream that I had. And... That's what I think that's what it means. You see what I'm saying? And see, that's why I love the Lord. Because just when you feel like you're doubting a little bit, I'll talk about myself. And I feel like I'm doubting a little bit. Oh, I'm sure about certain things. God will show me something. God will show me something to let me know. So in all honesty, I believe that what he's showing is a prophecy to the world, to the saints. And I got to tell the people that y'all can't worry about nothing. God will protect you if, but you got to stand. See, that, that that's what was the representation. That's what was standing out in the dream. The snake was all around me. It had a hold of somebody else. Right? And it got a hold of that person, but it did not defeat that person. I kept telling the person, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. And that snake let go. The snake did not want to go. The snake was very, it was so crazy. The emotions and the, 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 the facial expressions that a snake had. And he was holding tight. And the more they pulled, the facial expression was like, no, how dare them. But he had to let go. He had to let go. And when he let go, he turned into a little nothing turn into a little nothing and he running around me running around me and just like I said he went and jumped at me I'm like, ah. but I didn't move I almost fell I almost tipped over but it was like I was rooted to that spot and I didn't move I turned around but I turned around right in that spot I did not step to the left I did not step to the right I did not go full I didn't even help the person I stayed right where I was so I think God has let me know that where I am, I need to stay there. I need to not allow the enemy to move me. Go on and preach. I'm standing in there and I'm telling people what to do. Lord, I thank you. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to let him, Lord, you want me to tell the people? If he opened the door for me to preach um, on the second Sunday, I'm going to tell it. I don't know what topic he's going to give me. Maybe. God is Thank you.